What is going on, everyone? Bo here with Bo Bi Arts, doing a surprise live stream. Now I may not have anyone join me, but feel free to. Um, this is kind of out of nowhere that I decided to do this. I think that when I practice characters or just want to have fun, I'll probably do um, quite a bit of live streaming. Hey, a viewer. How are you, viewer? Thank you for tuning in. And I hope my thumbnail worked. I really do because today I'm pretty excited. I'm just going to... What's up, Toxic? Oh, God. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Uh, probably only Toxic and I will get. But uh, this is going to be awesome, man. Uh, today I'm drawing some Secrets of Mana characters from the Super Nintendo I always draw really like good man how are you I'm doing fantastic I've I've been sick all week with tonsillitis but today is the first day I feel pretty fabulous so good recovery thank you for asking you're awesome so yeah I always draw uh like really vicious oh. stuff oh my gosh what's wrong with my dog so today I thought I would draw kind of cutesy stuff, just uh, just messing around, just sketches, nothing serious. So we've got two people watching. You know what? Let's let's get into it, and then I'll flip back and forth and check the the chat log here. So <clears throat> see, first thing I want to do is start another layer. I don't really want to put anything on this background right now. <clears throat> So excuse my dog. He's it's about one thirteen here in Texas, and that's the time the mailman usually <laughs> decides to pop in. So him being a dog, let's see here. I'm gonna decide what brush I want to use. So I made a new brush yesterday. I'll show everybody if you're interested. This is a uh, Mark Brunette from Cube Brush. It's his brush. So I watched the tutorial, screwed it up enough, um, but I think I've finally perfected it to where it's pretty cool. I like it. So maybe we'll use that. I've been a fan of uh, this brush recently. It has some cool textures. I used it in my last live stream. Anybody else join us here? Just two. I'm good. I've got a cold on it, holding on to me too. <laughs> I used to got that chest cold. <laughs> oh man. All right. Without further ado, I'm I'm slacking off here just because I. Well, let's see here. It's hard to draw at the same time. Well, hopefully you're feeling better. Let's try this brush out first. So, uh, the first thing I'm drawing from from this game is a uh, is a goblin kid. And um, you know what? I really don't know if I like the way that texture looks for what I'm drawing. I'm gonna go back to the cube brush. If you've played the game Secret of Mana, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. There's these goblin kids, and they are adorable. <laughs> so we're going to draw the goblin kids. We're going to try to. And he is going to be getting uh, heavily intoxicated and drunk. Well, that's the same thing. So we're just uh, doing a light sketch here. Somebody's alarm's going off outside, and my dog is growling. Rumble really likes to voice his opinions in my live streams. It's funny how that works. So we're doing the ears right now. We're going to just do some light sketching here. And I'll tell you what, already this is, I'm not really happy with this. Yeah. What's going on here is I'm making it too big way too big. Uh, there we go. Let's do these a lot smaller because I'd like to think I'd do like a couple of characters here. And let's move him over. <laughs> I'm so terrible at this. <laughs> it's moving over everything too. I don't care. All right. Let's see. Same thing, more or less, drawn his ears. And we're not going for perfection. We're just going for a light sketch, and we can 
fine tune the details a little bit later. So one thing that's important is to always have a reference. I mean, it doesn't have to be like something you're copying off of or anything like that, but you always want a reference to look after because even if it's something that you're, you know, essentially drawing exactly what you see in the picture and maybe just changing a few items on it, uh, it's pretty important to to have that reference because even just copying something, uh, your muscle movement, I'm, I'm also a musician, I'm a guitarist, and it's really important to have that muscle memory almost, you know, you draw... Sure, if you look at a picture and you draw a character's eyes, um, you know, for a year straight, you just keep drawing eyes. That's all you draw. Sooner or later, it's going to be buried into your memory how to draw some eyes, and you won't need to look at the picture. So um, that's kind of what we're going for here. So, yeah, just kind of light shapes here, and maybe this won't work out. Maybe it will. Who knows? I don't know. So this looks like he has some kind of weapon uh, in the game, they had some like clubs or no, it was an axe. That's what they used in the in the game. They used some axe. So it's like it's kind of hard to tell what what's going on here. It's hopefully this is like Bob Ross or something where it looks really ugly at first, and all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, look at this goblin. So let's draw some some teeth here. And looking at this artwork, it's pretty interesting. I've never really, as much as I love this game, best game ever, best music ever. Um, have any of you guys played Secret of Mana? How do you learn to do this stuff? Oh, man, and you've been talking to me the whole time. You play guitar, too? Bass and drums? And the mandolin? Wow, dude, you are... And you're from Australia, correct? Everyone? Yeah... That's amazing, man. Um, I'd like to hear some of your stuff. How do I learn to do this stuff? The internet. <laughs> That's basically what's going on. Um, you know, a couple of years ago here, I'll share some of my life with you guys so you kind of understand where I come from. Um, a couple of years ago, I was, I, I talked about in my last video, like what jobs I've had and how I kind of got into digital art, but so what happened, it's kind of sad, but no fret. Um, I worked at a bank, at a major bank, and uh, I thought at the time it was a really good thing because I was making really good money, and I'd worked nothing but retail, but now all of a sudden, without a college degree or anything, um, somebody wanted to hire me as a financial advisor. Why, I don't know, but they did, and I thought it was just a really good thing at the time. It's got a little shoulder pad going on here. So I started working at this bank, and it took me maybe a year to realize that I just wasn't really happy. Um, so, uh, sorry, I'm trying to draw at the same time, and I know I'm sidetracking here. But um, something really bad happened while I was working at the bank. My best friend um, passed away. In a drunk driving collision, he was the drunk driver. Nobody else was injured, thank God. And, you know, I had worked with this guy at a lot of my jobs. He had helped me get a couple of jobs as well. And he was just, you know, taught me a lot of things on the guitar. Just an amazing musician, just an amazing man. But unfortunately, he had a problem. And it uh, it kind of took over anyway. This is, this is going somewhere, I promise. But let's see, let's draw little fingers here. He, this is going to be him. You can't see this right now, but this is going to be him his drink in his hand, and then he's like kicking back. I don't know. It'll make sense here in a minute. This is, this is I'm pretty happy with this so far. Anyway, so my, my buddy, uh, he died, and it kind of set something in me. It made me, um, you know, we were around the same age, and it kind of made me think, like, what am I doing? You know, am I, if I died tomorrow, would I be, would I be happy? Would I go happy? So I, that was in 2014, and it kind of just lit a fire under me, so to speak. And I was 28 at the time, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to college for art. I've always loved drawing, and I'd kind of let it get away from me for, like, years and years. So I started the, like, process of touring the Art Institute 
here in Fort Worth, Texas, and it was just so expensive, guys. It was like it was like ninety thousand dollars or eighty nine thousand dollars for a bachelor's degree. So um, I like I got to the financial office and like realized that I'd basically have like school payments for the the rest of my life, and I just didn't really want that. No offense to anybody that that's going to college or anything like that. Like you do, you do you. But for me, I was just uh, I'm always you know guitar. I've been guitar. I've been self-taught, and uh, I kind of thought I would do the same with digital art. So, um, yeah, last year, September 26th, actually, I quit retail and corporate America and started teaching myself with inter the interwebs. <clears throat> see what else we have here. Remy Storms. Hey, Remy Storms. How's it going? Great work, man. Thanks for uploading your vids. Also, it's nice to see how you create the magic in real life. Well, that is very amazing. Oh, you're from England, Toxic. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know that. Um, I thought you were from Australia for some reason. It's, it's because Americans perceive anything other than our accent as uh, Australian. Well, or British. We get the two confused very easily. We're just, you know, <laughs> we're, we're very prejudiced over here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, welcome, Remy, and thanks for tuning in. And, uh, you know, I just appreciate it so much. You know, this number up here is like, it, you know, I don't want to say it, it, it's, uh, it doesn't mean anything, but it, it does. Like, I know that three to most, I guess what I'm saying is in uh, not a very substantial amount. But for me, you know, I've always said I walk into a room and I'm teaching three people how to, how to art or how to do art, then, uh, you know, that's a, that's a pretty large number. I'd be pretty pretty nervous so this means the world that people are tuning in um you know what let me show you guys um what i am drawing that way you can see what's going on here can i put that in the photoshop window ah you know what it's just too much trouble sorry all right well I don't feel like copying and pasting it. I'd rather just let you guys see what's going on. I, th I think I've got basically like his silhouette almost done anyway. I'm too new to the encoding stuff and switching screens over. I would It would just be more hassle than it's worth. Anyway, so yeah, back to the story. I was just, uh, I taught myself everything digital art. You know, and that's just how the internet is. I mean, like, especially like youth these days and this generation, like, so smart. I mean, with the technology and everything, like, man, Toxic, I, I have a feeling that we're probably maybe close to around the same age. I'm 30, and, you know, I would just have to listen to a song, or if I was lucky enough, you know, grab a tablature book growing up, um, playing the guitar, stuff like that, to learn a new skill or learn a new song or just learn it from ear. And nowadays, man, kids are so smart. Like, I, like sometimes if I have a computer issue or an issue like in art or something like I'll go to YouTube and some 10 year old is explaining it like great you know the other day I had no sound on my computer and I had to look it up on YouTube and some kid was like describing to me what my issue was it was pretty awesome um, this is his these are his pants right here and this will have to erase this line this actually because he has like these puffy pants I don't know here. Let's give him some more facial features so you guys can see what's going on here. He's got some teeth coming in over here. His his baby molars are coming in. I don't know. And then he has like this this uh like is it a cur it's like a kerchief. You know, and then yeah, this is going <laughs> to I hope this turns out all right. Well, if it doesn't, I'll just delete the video and I'll pretend it never happened. That way I don't have a terrible reputation, right? So this is the bottle he's drinking from. And this, man, it's just I'm trying not to draw too much of this because it might look a little, <laughs> it might look a little perverted. So he's drinking out of this bottle. I assure you it is shaped like this, you sickos. And then it has this this drop of liquid that's that's gonna come out right there. <laughs> All right, and actually this tooth is misplaced. 
and this is just how you do it. You know, you'll uh, you'll be drawing, and then you'll see mistakes. So this tooth needs to go over here. And already we're having like kind of a. I'll give him some eyes too, so you guys can see kind of like. Look at how like joy he is to drink. Yeah, so that's the goblin's like face. It's kind of like a very feline in features, huh? Give him some of this. Yeah. Once again, these are just sketches so I can get used to, you know, one thing I don't really do is a lot of creatures. And I don't do cute. So right now it just looks like garbage, really. But, um, you know, I'm learning some stuff here. I'm learning um, way different style. This is a weird style because he has, like, these pointy, pointy shoes and, like, baggy clothing and stuff. And then... Um, I don't know. I'm thinking I may have went wrong doing a silhouette first. No, I don't know. We'll just see. Here, let's just do a rough sketch of the rest of him. Let me get brave here, and then I can just fill it in later. That's what I usually do with everything, so. <laughs> Why is he so crooked? Let's see. Maybe he's sitting on a hill, huh? And then we'll erase, like, this junk right over here. Yeah, so this is like his his foot, his little elf shoe, goblin shoe, uh, leg, butt, butt, <laughs> butt crack. Uh, another shoe, another bottle. He's drinking a couple of things here. And here's the other bottle here. We'll have this like little liquid pouring out here and then it's like making a little puddle. So what you want to do is like get the base outline. Like you don't want to worry about all the details right now, but you want to, I don't know, this is how I, how I do it. I always want to envision like have a pretty good idea of what I'm drawing. So I like to block in things or do shapes of things and then just fill in the details as you go. A lot of people will do like the, you know, this and then that kind of thing. And then, you know, a, a cube, however you draw those. And, uh, you know, that, that stuff's helpful. But, um, to me, like, you can, how am I trying to put this? Like, with monsters or with people, um, when you're doing their face, like, if I'm, if I'm drawing somebody's face, or I'm looking at a tutorial and I'm drawing a face, if you think about it, like, let's say somebody's drawing a face and they're like, okay, you know, do their eye here and their eye here. And then their mouth. Well, if I if I come over here and I draw the face, and I'm like, okay, you know, and then maybe my eyes a little bit bigger, or the head shape's different, you know. Um, even though we're drawing the same person, because I've altered one feature, it's now an entirely new creature or human or whatever. So, um, I don't know. I guess that's why uh, that's what I was saying. It's important to. Uh, just draw however you want to, you know, and it's going to be your own because you're going to draw different than the original. Um, even when you, when you see somebody and you're like, man, that's photorealistic and it, it looks exactly like the picture. Uh, one thing's probably off and it's, it's going to look like their own piece. I mean, it is your own piece. If you're picking up the pen and you're drawing something else entirely, then that's yours. That's your artwork. That's your practice. That's your sketch. And now we're, uh, I don't know. I'm just rambling. How are you guys doing? Hey, little artist. What's going on? Let's see here. It's okay. I have American cousins. They live in New York City and Philadelphia. Very interesting life story. You and Shaman are from Texas. Yes, me and the YouTuber Base Shaman. By the way, um, I will shout out, guys. Base Shaman is hilarious. Um, he's just a. He seems like an amazing person, and uh, you should go check him out. Uh, yes, we're both from Texas. I think he's from the Houston area, and I'm from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. East London would sound different than some South London. That makes sense. Um, a lot of people get confused about where I'm from because I don't sound Texan unless I've I've had a few to drink, if you know what I mean. If I'm really, really, you know, um, <laughs> relaxed, I have disregard for, um, you know, sounding articulate and whatnot what's going on little artist hopefully your exams your exams went well <clears throat> let me grab a drink of water here 
little artists were drawing Secret of Mana, Goblin, Fang. And you know what? There for a minute, I was I was worried about. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to stop this live stream. This looks stupid. I doubted myself, and now I'm seeing. I'm really seeing this thing come together. So. I wouldn't chicken out like that anyway. I'm just messing around. So his shoe actually comes over here, and let's get this other shoe in because then we'll have a good you know point of reference for the rest of his features and his little pointy to you know what I have work shoes like this I think somewhere they're like I think they're called Steve Madden's they looked really nice I think this goblin is he's ready to hit the clubs right or he's already hit the clubs apparently <clears throat> I think we'll alter this uh this shape here we'll kind of close this circle in one thing you guys will notice about me is I jump around a lot in my artwork, I will um, <laughs> kind of get bored of something and then, you know, sorry, I just got quiet, I know. Anything that involves a circle <laughs> is like supreme concentration to me. Here, I'll tell you what, let's take away some of the shading. This has been really rough so far. Um, but that's okay. Like I said, it's just all about blocking shapes. And I think while we're on the while we're on the subject here, I think a lot of people will get discouraged when they see something like this. I mean, it it doesn't look that impressive, and you know, I don't want to say, oh, my work is going to look impressive when I'm done. But um, they'll kind of get right here, and they'll get a little discouraged about you know the way that it's looking, because it's human nature to want um, immediate results. So you become a little bit impatient. But, you know, when you start doing little things like this, you can block in things and see, you know, overall where it's going. And you just have to be patient as an artist. You can't just, you know, not like the way something turns out and then throw it away every time. You might be throwing away the next Mona Lisa, you know. Here it is right here. It's the next Mona Lisa. Drunk Goblin. So now you guys can kind of see a better shape here. I swear every time I do something over here, it just looks per perverted, doesn't it? <laughs> so no, he's not. He's not doing anything malicious here. He's not. He's not fondling anything. This is actually part of the picture. I promise. You know, you'll have to Google it. Secret of Mana Goblin, and then you'll see what I'm drawing. I should start showing you the reference stuff, but you know, whatever. Um, how's everyone? How's everyone doing? I've never heard of the name Bo. What country of origin is it? I think French. Um, you know, so Bo VI Arts. Let's talk about that for a second. Gun laws are very strict in the UK. Oh, we'll talk about guns. If you want to talk about guns, we can talk about guns. Um, so Bo is my nickname. Gosh, I don't want to drop another sad story. I guess I will. Um, my real name is James, but I've gone by Bo like my entire life. Uh, I had a brother. He's deceased. His name was Jimbo. And I'm actually James, uh, I'm the sixth of my generation. So that's kind of where Bo VI Arts comes from. So Jimbo passed away. That was my brother's name, Jimbo. And my family's always called me Bo in honor of Jimbo. So um, what I did is I took, you know, um, Bo Cardwell the sixth. Stop, Rumble, Ke settle down. Daddy's live streaming and you're you're ruining my life. Um <laughs> So I took my my uh, Roman numeral six and I did Bo, V I, which is six, um, arts. And it kind of you know it also I loved my Roman numeral because it it pays homage to like my childhood. All I did is play Final Fantasy and stuff, and you know Final Fantasy Roman numeral you know four, you know you got three four, you know it's all Roman numerals. So kind of when I when I started the business, I kind of thought of Bo V I arts like. I don't know, like Final Fantasy. I'm a nerd, you know, what do you expect? Of course I'm going to think of that. So, refining his pants-like shape here. But I think it's French for beautiful, if I may add. Uh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. All right. Then he has, like, for over his crotch, he has, like, this, uh, it's a shape of, like, a triangle. But it's rounded. Actually, uh, check that out, guys. Like, the, 
you know, if we had a goblin, let me go up here. Let me turn the opacity. Quick, another quick sketch. We'll do my quick sketch over here. So, if we had the same goblin, and his features were sharp, think about how that would impact the overall um, image. You know. So, <laughs> Well, as I stated before, the mailman comes around this time, and I'm sorry everybody was subjected to that. That, was, that actually scared the shit out of me. Um, so anyway, if we had a goblin, if we did every feature sharp instead of rounded, it has a much more different feel. It has more of a vicious feel. Um, that's still cute for obvious reasons, but uh, it's very interesting. Something I've noticed when I've, when I've been drawing this is that all the features are very soft and, and rounded, and uh, I think it's having you know it's it's giving a different effect to the art style so oh th uh thanks toxic james bond you know i i have always i've always kind of felt like i was james bond so i <laughs> appreciate that yeah you know um such is life man like one one day i'll die too this is turning out to be like for, this is some this is supposed to be like a cute live stream like a happy one i've made it sad um, do you know, that's, that's kind of how I've coped with, with, uh, losses in my life is just knowing that, you know, um, there, there are two things that are certain in life and it's, that's life and death. And one day I will pass on to, and I think it's a beautiful thing. It's, it's essential. And, you know, if you're feeling, I don't know, I, it's kind of weird if you're kind of feeling, um, maybe like you know you don't know where you're going i don't know it's just i kind of take take comfort in knowing that uh death is a beautiful thing because without it there wouldn't be life and it's it's kind of a catch 22 thing so i don't i don't know it's kind of weird but it's just kind of one of the the grieving things you have to look at nothing's forever so um you guys now know that I'm 30 years old. I love Super Nintendo. I love Secret of Mana. What are you guys playing? What are some of your favorites out there? Because I'm a huge gamer, um, obviously. I'm getting pretty pleased with the way this silhouette's going. You know, and this is just... What you'll do is when you're um, confident about the way that your figure's going and the form's going, you start hitting those lines darker. And again, I'm just doing this all on one layer because this is a, it's a sketch, you know, and I, I kind of like to train myself with one layer. It's personal preference. Let's erase some of that line there. Do you watch other YouTubers who make digital art or drawing? Yes, absolutely. Um... <clears throat> So a couple of people that I watch, um, Zia Taptara, it's X-I-A, Taptara, just sound it out. He is probably the first one that, um, that I started watching that I really got into. And uh, man, he just really, he really opened up the digital art possibilities for me and you know, all that good stuff. So I've watched him for a couple of years now. Um, even though I've only really hit digital art for about a year and a half since last February is the, really when I first started uh, learning some techniques and stuff. Um, here's recently, actually just the last month, I uh, discovered Mark Brunette from Cube Brush, which is actually the brush, uh, if you're just now joining in or watching later, that's the brush that I'm using today. I've made my own Cube Brush. There are tutorials on how to do that. Just give it a quick research a google um and oh man i i'm blanking on his name his name's almed aldori i believe i hope i'm saying that right i hope i'm remembering it right because he's also one of my favorites um and i've just now discovered him as well so yeah those are a few that i watch um and they are just, man, 
I, I can only hope that I get that talented and that good one day, you know. But this is part of it, you know. Sometimes it's about sketching weird things and you know, I'm pretty happy. This is this is pretty good here. So what is going on here? Something happened in this area to where let's see. I have no idea what's going on here. Okay. So his fingers, he's got three fingers. That's interesting. And we'll just give an overall impression of where his hand is. There we go. Don't worry about making the lines perfect when you're doing this. Look, when I drew this, I drew I drew his thumb on it. So now what I have to do is just bring these over. Give the slightest impression. Yeah, you just draw the same thing, but bigger scale, right? There we go. It's like it never happened. See, that is one um, one setback as opposed to drawing, you know, like that. Having an underlay, a proper underlay is you're going to have little situations like that where you're you're trying to fit the puzzle piece in, you know, eh, such is life. All right. So um, now we're going to erase a little bit of these lines that are not really supposed to be there. Actually, you know what that one is? It's this line. So let's get rid of that. Let's turn the opacity up a little bit. If anybody's wondering, I'm using a, a Wacom bamboo tablet. It's pretty epic. Um, I've been drawing on an iPad for a year. I've done all my commissions, all my work, everything for my personal business off my iPad. So it's been nice to get some Photoshop in my life. Um, I don't really, I don't really know what's going on here with this hand, but I think I kind of screwed it up. I'll tell you what, we're gonna go in deeper with this cut here. There we go, and then we'll erase some of this junk in the middle. There we go. He's got a fat finger. He's a goblin. Of course he does. All right. Playing Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Ooh. And I play Halo, Batman, Arkham City, and Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Well, those are some definite uh, definite smash hit titles that I <laughs> remember selling when I worked at GameStop for, for like four years. That's for sure. Um, so a lot of you, let me, let me let you in on a little secret. I had a, a YouTube channel that I started in, I don't know. 2010 or something 2011 and it was a gaming channel and back then it was a little bit more complicated to become to have a partnership um, by the way what I'm doing now is I'm just darkening the lines that I'm confident about that I know I'm gonna keep so this is also gonna help um, add detail because these old lines serve as kind of some shadows and stuff and then we'll shade him in we'll just do some light shading Anyway, but uh, back to my story. I digress. Um, yeah, I started a YouTube channel, and it was called... <laughs> it was I'll, I'll tell you, I don't care. It's called Advent Rooster. That was my gaming handle for years and years and years. Still is on some platforms. And I did, like, Minecraft Let's Plays, because I was really into Minecraft uh, back then. So I did all these Let's Plays, and it was really tough to have a partnership for YouTube but I did it. I had a partnership and I got paid $89. And guess what? You can't even cash it out unless it's like at a hundred dollar threshold. So I never got to, I never got my $89. It's still on there. Um, and a couple of times I wanted to like go back and do gaming. It sucked guys. Don't even really, I mean, if, if you want to have a good laugh, it's just, it's night and day. You know what I'm, the difference is, is I was not passionate about, oh God, what the hell did I just do? I'll pick the wrong one. I was not passionate about gaming, like, you know, making money. I, I think that's kind of everybody's dream. <laughs> Come here. It's okay. Come here. I'm going to have to show you guys Rumble someday. I apologize. He's, I'm going to have to uh, 
give them some treats or something next time. I don't know what this problem is today. Anyway, it was just a terrible channel. Um, it lasted like mm, a year or two, and I just kind of dropped it after that uh, because I didn't like doing it. So, uh, Do I read comics or mangas? You know what? I do not. Um, comics are something that I've, I've never gotten into. And it's really weird to me because I, you know, I love art so much. Uh, now, that doesn't mean I don't have an appreciation for it, obviously. Um, I do. But I never really got into comics. Um, several years ago, I started getting into anime and, and mangas and stuff like that. And I collected a little bit of mangas, but it got too expensive. And, you know, I didn't really have good internet. So I didn't really want to look up, you know, all the crap online and keep up with the mangas and <clears throat> with anime and mangas something about it let me straighten out this drop of liquid here um i'm kind of picky on them like if it's something that's going to go on for hundreds and hundreds of them like most of them usually do then i'll lose interest pretty quickly just because i live a pretty busy life um i think that's why berserk is my favorite and there's also one called Wolf's Rain that uh, I always loved. I always loved Wolf's Rain. And we'll get that. All right, let's 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 do something different here. Let's shade. Let me get this erased part here. And I'll show you guys kind of how I shade a little bit. Um, I'll tell you what, let's do it on a new layer just so we can erase if we need to probably won't erase so this is my shade brush kinda looks like a sponge yeah if you just like tap it once it looks like a sponge and when you're shading you probably want to turn down the opacity so you can always go up in value if you need to so let's kind of bring this home right here By the way, guys, um, thanks, you know, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for, you know, if you're on my Twitter or Instagram, I do that too, but just thanks for, for everything really. Um, you know, it's, it's people like y'all that allow me to, <laughs> to have a business, to, to run my own business. And, you know, when people are interested in that, it just, it still blows my mind, you know? So I really appreciate that. So yeah, looking at this reference and then, you know, seeing where the lighting is and stuff, like it, it's making sense to me. Um, right away, what we're noticing is underneath him, these areas are darker and he's, he's got a little weight on him, but there's a reason for that. It's because, you know, the light is obviously coming from around here, right? We know that because... There we go. Now it's a little bit more apparent. Um, we know that because, you know, if you're sitting down, the light can't reach underneath where you're sitting unless you're sitting on a light. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, really, I think this is basically it. I can I can keep fleshing this out. Um, I really don't see the need to. I've learned quite a bit. It's just a weird style to, to get used to. Um, I'll tell you what, we've got a little bit of time here. Let's, oh no, I forgot to flatten that down. Let's flatten that down. So we're going to, oh crap, what have I done? Don't apply. Okay, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 merge down. I don't really know the hotkeys yet. Um... That's pretty good. He reads as a cute little thumbnail. That's all I wanted to do is get some practice in today. All right, apply that. And then let's go and what do I want to draw now? I want to keep doing some Secret of Mana stuff. Let's do this. Uh, these things are kind of like a Robin Hood, like if a squirrel were a Robin Hood. 
I don't know. It's kind of weird. Oh, some more questions. Let's let's address these. Uh, do I have a favorite guitarist? Toxic, yes, I do. You might have heard of him. His name's John Petrucci. He's a uh, Dream Theater's guitarist. I know you know exactly who I'm talking about. Um, my my friend, uh, my best friend that I was talking about earlier, like totally got me into Dream Theater. And they're one of my favorite bands of all time. So I actually have uh, three guitars. I've had all kinds of stuff. Um, but one of my guitars is a John Petrucci signature model. It's a Sterling, so it's cheaper woods. But um, yes, I, I love that guy. <clears throat> ah, I'm a nice bloke. Thank you. Little artist, very good question. Why don't I zoom in? So the reason why I don't zoom in, and I do sometimes, it just depends. So the reason being is because, um, how do I explain this? Let me think here. You know, it's easier in scale and proportion for me if I stay zoomed out. And also, when I'm just sketching like this, I don't want to get caught up in, like, details like whiskers and stuff like that. <clears throat> and you'll have a tendency to do that. If you if you start zooming in, and now he kind of looks bad because I've transformed him, um, you know, you're going to start, you're going to start with all this junk. Let me see. You're going to start doing the, you know, oh, he's got, you know, a whisker here and, what you know. When you're just practicing, I don't really find it necessary. I want to maintain the proportions. And also, if you're like this close to him and you're drawing his head, it's kind of hard to just tell where, you know, if you're screwing up the rest of his body like this, it, you know, it's definitely, it's a little bit lazy. We're just kind of messing around today, right? We're just having fun and I'm just trying to learn a couple things. But overall, his proportion's pretty good. Maybe not this, well... Even this arm isn't too bad. It's probably a little longer than it needs to be, and we kind of mess with his hand. This one's kind of bent up, drinking this water. But uh, you don't want to lose the overall scale of the image. And a lot of times when you're zooming in, you'll get A, caught up in the details, and B, you'll lose the proportion and scale of the image. So I'll try to draw things kind of far back. Hope that answers your question. Traditional drawing. Um... Yes, I, you know, I grew up doing traditional art basically my entire life because I didn't have computers and, you know, I'm 30 years old, so it just wasn't around. Um, so I did a lot of that, but I, I only had like, you know, I grew up pretty poor and I only had access to like, um, like manila paper or usually copy paper and number two pencils or big pens so there's a lot of traditional drawing going on and I've kind of gotten away from it I mean I always love it and I'll, I could probably jump right back into it but um, I mean I, I just I'm trying to get better at digital art at the moment I think that with traditional art I've eh, got pretty good at it I did portraits for a while I was really into portraits Great band, check out a bloke by the name of Rory Gallagher. Man, why does that sound so familiar? Is that's not no, I'm thinking of a I'm thinking of a different Gallagher guy. I think I'm thinking of the Oasis guy. That's something I think it's Noel Gallagher is who I'm thinking of. I think that's his name. This opacity stinks. Let's turn that up. I'm having to retrace it a lot. Okay, because I've already got a good silhouette. So this is like a squirrel Robin Hood thing from Secret of Mana. Um Again, just to get some, some characters down. I don't ever draw like little furry creatures or anything like that. Here's his ear. Uh, he has a hood on. They're called Chobin, or Chobin hoods, actually, are what they're called. So let's draw his face first. Usually I want to draw the entire silhouette, but let's draw his face. So um, Right away, I see some lines up here. No, I don't. I lied. Let's just get some light drawings going on. So he's got a hood over his face, and we'll have to kind of amend that. There's some errors in that, I can already tell you. And then um, he has, like, here's the fin of his, his arrow. He's using a bow and arrow in his picture, so there's the fin. Let me get rid of that. And we're blocking, and we're going to frame in his face here. All right, so 
Chobin Hood. Here, I'll zoom in, little artist. Let's let's do you a favor here. So, <laughs> do you want me to zoom in more? I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can work real close. Let me see if I'm able to. Ah, it just looks so terrible because of pixelation. Let me see. All right. I might be able to do it. I don't know. Let's see. Because you're pointing out a good point. I mean, maybe maybe a lot of people zoom in. But, see, now I feel like I'm pretty, you know, meticulous on his details and stuff now. I feel like it's like I'm going for perfect. Ugh, it's weird. Quickly abandoned that idea. Um, but that's about, you know, that's what art's about. So there's this little, man, he's a cute little guy. I got a little nose right there. I'm actually going to make it a little bit different in the picture just because I want him to look more cute. And his buck, buck tooth here. Oh, why did I make it so sharp? It's kind of hard to tell. And I feel like, why is this not erasing? It's not undoing as many things as I want it to do. Sorry, I'm just mumbling things, you guys. You guys are more or less joining me in my everyday thought process, which I think is, like, cooler than watching somebody try to pretend to, uh, you know, pretend to be entertaining or entertain an audience. So uh, this is all kinds of wrong. It's like an... Kind of an S, like a bloop. There we go. And he's got some whiskers. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> Little sound effects. I actually made a meme about that the other day, talking about how I make my own sound effects uh, while I draw. I don't know. And his eye. His eye is going to be, you know, if you look at a squirrel from the front, his eye is pretty, uh, you know, near his nose. I don't know. Does that make any sense? It looks like this. How about that? I can see where they would get this squirrel idea from. Okay. So. And the interesting thing is, is, okay, so his little... This is a weird one. His little chin is like... I don't know. His tooth looks so stupid. I can't get it right. <laughs> oh, thanks. He was from Ireland. He passed away in 95. Man, whenever I come back from Photoshop, your guys' icons have like a similar color palette. So I actually have to, you know, read read your names. So He does a lot of blues, rock and roll, folk blues, rock and hard rock. Dude, I will definitely check him out. I'm always into like finding new music. Absolutely. I'm pretty, I'd like to think I'm pretty versatile. Well, see, now I'm zooming in. Now it's actually pretty helpful because I was making that way too sharp. So, overall design here, you've got uh, squirrel face, his ear, which, you know, now that I'm looking at the ear, it's not really, like, doesn't really, well, I guess it makes a lot of sense because we're seeing the backside of his ear. How dare I question Squaresoft. Square Enix now, but Square Soft at the time. So we're going to start uh, hitting these pretty hard because I'm pretty happy with the way the silhouette turned out. Does anyone else draw like this to where you just kind of look at something and, and draw? Yay, nay, maybe. Yeah. And I'm I'm making these lines a little bit uh you know, I'm bringing them in a little bit more from where I initially sketched them out because I want to frame in his face a little bit better. So he's got some folds right here. Awesome. Yeah. It's coming together. So his ear, let's do his ear real quick. This is going to be interesting because it comes in like this. It's a pretty adorable little ear, i got to say. All right. And then it's like 
right there. It's pretty good. And then just some fur. Okay. Yeah. Chobin hood. Awesome. So let's see here. I'll tell you what. Let's go in. It's got like a wrinkle right there. <clears throat> and let's shade him. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm not even going to use another layer. I'm just going to get a little ballsy. Let's get a little ballsy here. All right. So we're going to have... Let's go a little bit smaller than that, and the opacity a little bit lower. There we go. What's up, Rumble? Why are you so pissy today? Come here, buddy. I feel like this should be a little bit darker right here than what the picture's reading, because um, his, like cloak thing is you know hovering over there so that yeah, makes sense this is pretty dark over here and again you know I'm gonna say this a million times but just think of where light realistically would not be reaching And let me show you something real quick. So on things like this, well, you know, when I'm shading and stuff, you're going to overlap. Just like when you're painting, you're going to overlap. <clears throat> but it kind of adds, I don't know, kind of adds like a traditional painting feel to it, some style to it. So it's a little too dark. Yeah. Oh, he's he's precious. I want to I want this guy as a pet. All right. Yeah. All right. How are you guys feeling about this uh this chobin so far? You know. I don't know, just different faces and stuff. Itachi Uchiha. You're my idol. I love your drawings. Oh man. That's really awesome man like uh i don't know that's that's freaking cool i just i don't even know what to say when people say things like that to me um toxic thank you so much for joining in and i hope you have an amazing day and uh just thanks again for the support appreciate that there will be many more of these i promise you <sighs> all right well Let's, uh, while we've got the ball rolling here, I'll tell you what, let's bring the opacity back up here. And, uh, you know, and I know this has been kind of all over the place, guys. Like I said, I've kind of felt a little, I've had tonsillitis this week, so no excuses, but that is my excuse. So I've <laughs> been taking all kinds of medicine and stuff, just trying to feel better. So values are just really important, and a lot of times when you start, you know, differentiating the light grays from the dark grays, that's when your your drawing is going to start really showing detail and come to life. So, you know, and what this probably took like what ten minutes or something like that. So, it hasn't really taken that long. Maybe fifteen minutes we spent on this, and uh, whoops, there we go. Yeah, so here's this little arrow here. It's going to come down. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of did that. That way you guys could get a good feel of what I was drawing. So hopefully that helps. I actually don't like that. His little hand here is uh, pulling back the bow. Let's see if I can draw that in real quick. So,
Sorry, I guess I'm being a little quiet. For some reason, I'm really focused on his little sleeve here. All right. There we go, his little sleeve, and this will be his hand. Not too bad. So right away, that's a pretty good shape. So let's start blocking that in and darkening the lines there. Very good. And yeah, pretty much nailed that part of it. His sleeve hangs down like a, a wizard, or I guess an archer in this case. Yeah, totally. Awesome, awesome. And then, um, <laughs> well, I'm getting, I'm kind of getting carried away here. Which art style do I hate the most? Um, <clears throat> I think probably like um, modern art. I really don't appreciate a lot. Um, you know, like uh, if you want a good example, like Jackson Pollock. You know, something that's just like splatters everywhere. I don't really, you know, I it's hard for me to appreciate that kind of art. Like I, I get it. And I, you know, that's different from respecting somebody as an artist. And, you know, when it comes down to it, it's so subjective that, you know, I don't really think there's, well, I will say, I, I do think there's wrong in art. There can be wrong. You know, these people that, that are like ingesting paint and then throwing it up and stuff on a canvas. I think that's disgusting and repulsive. And i I would never personally view that as art. So that's pretty gross. And they they uh, have a tendency to try to call that modern art. But Jackson Pollock was uh, kind of the, or Pollock, um, was, he didn't throw up his art, but he was kind of into that, like, you know, put a bunch of paint spatters on. And if you enjoy that, cool. Um, actually, a cool little story is there was this professor, I uh, was watching a, documentary recently and he was talking about um his his students like in the beginning of his class for modern art or art in general he would ask his students like um what they thought of this art piece and he would put up this piece that was very modern you know had the paint spatter all over it and they would talk about you know what the artist was trying to express um with that piece so he would let all these people tell him how brilliant the artwork was and stuff and then the picture panned out and it turned out being the professor's paint apron with you know messy paint all over it it wasn't a work of art at all so uh it's kind of telling you know when when you can't differentiate art from um you know somebody's dirty apron so i guess that's kind of always how i felt about modern art graffiti um <sighs> I couldn't do it. I think it's pretty awesome. Um, graffiti is... It's a new kind of talent. I don't really know anything about airbrushing or anything like that, but it's, you know... It, it can't be easy. You know? Um, and I think I saw... Let's see. Itachi, do you have kids or do you want to have kids? Oh, man. Um, you know, so I I got married in June... And, um, it's, we, we don't know, I guess, to put it in short. Um, uh, I think kind of when, when the time comes to, to talk about it or whatever, we'll, we'll do it. But right now, um, I guess the best way to answer that is right now we are just enjoying life together as a, as a newlywed married couple. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, I now kids themselves i love kids um it's just that's it's, i don't know uh there's a lot of people that are pretty young and they they have kids and they make great parents and stuff but it to me it's like you know um i'm like shoot even though i'm 30 and i you know i've done all this stuff in life and um you know managed stores and been a financial advisor and people have trusted me with their money and you know all this great stuff like I'm like, oh man, it's a human life. 
Like, and there's some people that are, you know, young, like, well, I'm kind of getting older, but they're, they're even younger than me and they're fantastic parents. And it's just like, uh, I guess it's kind of terrifying to me. You guys just totally heard me have like a panic attack on <laughs> live stream. <laughs> like question, ah, I don't want kids. No, I don't know. Um, if it happens, it happens. You know, I think you can spend all the time in the world preparing for something like that and never truly be prepared until it happens. Um, so this is his bow. We're making his bow, and he has kind of like, almost like a tunic, like uh, like Link would. That's fun answering your guys' questions. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. Da, 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 da. So his little foot here, he's got like some some little claws coming out, some nails right there, there, and there. And we'll just do like little, they don't have to be serious lines here. There we go. And he's like, he's got this big bushy tail. So let's block that in. And once I feel good about the shape, we will make it darker. Awesome. All right, so yeah, that's pretty good. Let's get it in there, all right. And he has like this, it's kind of like a hem, is what I'm drawing right here. It's like a, a pretty thick hem he's got on the, I'm probably taking too much time on this. Let me speed this up a little bit. But I'm just having fun here. That's what it's all about. And his other foot. You know, this is actually, uh, not only is it teaching me about like creature design and stuff like that, but also... Um, this is a really cool pose they both have, you know, and most of the time when I draw something, it's like, you know, blop, 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 you know, dead on or from the back. So this is pretty cool for me to learn. Um, you know, I struggle with characters. I've been avoiding it as far as digital art goes, which is strange because like I said earlier, I've uh, done a lot of portraits in my life and they were pretty good from what I remember growing up. I got pretty good at it. I just did it for years and years and years. Um, you'll be decent at anything if you try something for years, years, and years. And I spent a lot of time doing those. Who is my idol? And what is my favorite book? Oh, man, my favorite book. Let me think. Let me think on that. Uh, grab a drink of water here. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to think on that. Um, now, when you say my favorite idol, or my who is my idol, like pizza or burger, oh gosh, you can't ask, ask a southerner that. Um, I'm going to say pizza. <laughs> um, my idol, like, is an art or just overall, or clarify, and I'll try to answer as best as I can. Okay, this little bow, and you know what, he's got like a string here, and a string there, that's close enough, <laughs> and we'll have to straighten up that arrow, but I just want to get the base, base shape I did, all that good stuff. Uh, that's not going to work. Um, go. A little bit better. Eh, that's good enough. Now let's uh, finish this part here.
And he's got little fingers that, you know, are around there. Okay. I must eat. I'm coming back. All right. Enjoy your pizza or burger. Favorite book. I'm still thinking about that. I haven't forgot about that. Um, hmm. You know, there's um, there's a book that I read growing up, and this seems kind of juvenile, but, you know, those are the best. Um, but it was called um, Hatchet by an author named Gary Paulson. <clears throat> and I always just liked that book. It's about um, a kid. He's having issues with, like, his parents. I think they're divorcing or something like that. And he goes to visit his dad. And he takes it like a private plane and it crashes and the pilot dies and he's stuck on this island with nothing but a hatchet that he got from his birthday. And, uh, you know, I think I was like 12 when I read that, somewhere around there. So those tend to have pretty big impacts. Like you tend to remember those things the most. Um, I really, I really always liked that book and I read it a few times and it's one of those things you can read it, you know, in one or two sittings. It's a fairly short book and it's looking back I don't think it's particularly well written um, but it definitely served its purpose and you know I had a good time with it and um, it had a bunch of sequels that I never got into I I didn't want to spoil the experience of uh, I, I heard they weren't that good I didn't want to spoil the experience of the original book so now my wife is trying to get me into the Harry Potters I've seen the movies I've never read the books so I'm sure that's going to happen. Now, here's an error right here I want to talk about. <coughs> um, I don't know if I can draw. That's his shape right there. It's kind of a cylinder. So this uh, belt is going to, as it wraps around, it's supposed to get a little smaller. Um, so that's going to have to change. And what I can do is I can just do that right there. Just let it make sense. Go. And then come back over it. It's that easy. All right. Let's darken some of this stuff up here. Secret of Mana. And at this time, I'm really just <laughs> kind of screwing around with, with these. I'm just having a lot of fun. I, like I said, this is my favorite game and learning quite a bit here. I think I'm going to shade him in and uh, give you a five-minute warning on this live stream before I shut her down. Hobbit or Lord of the Rings? Oh, man. let's here. Uh, here's my loss of subscribers warning. Um, I hate... Lord of the Rings, and I hate The Hobbit. I, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've tried so many times to get into those, and I just can't do it. And it's so weird because, you know, I'm a nerd. Like I, stereotypically, I should love those things, but I, I just don't. Um, and I don't know why. I think the the Hobbits annoyed me. Because I really liked uh, Viggo Mortensen and Gandalf and, you know, all that good stuff. But I think the the Hobbits, um, Frodo and, you know, Bilbo, I don't know. They I just found them to be annoying characters, really whiny. Uh, I don't know. Kind of weird. I'm... So... <laughs> Do you know who Lisa and Lin Lena is? Lena? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I don't. What is that? So we're getting all the shading that's, you know, close to his, his arms there. And just by adding that shading, let me see if I can take it away so you can see what that did. So this is really flat right now. And, you know, granted, we're not going for perfection here, but just by adding shading in where his you know his arm is just a little bit you don't want to overdo it it now elevates that arm it's no longer a flat shape 
So pay special attention to that kind of stuff. Pay special attention to if the light's shining down from this direction, whoop, um, where would shadows be cast? You know, things like that. So you might have a little bit of shadow right there. And then we can always clean this up later, but it's just sketching. I mean, you don't really want to focus on cleaning things up too much. Yeah. Bloop. Color that in. And then we will add a little bit of erase marks here to this sketch. Chobin. He's definitely a Chobin. Ooh, I missed a little shading down here. We can shade with this if we want. Here you go. German. Musically, music, musical ear. What? It, okay, so this is. I'm showing my age here. Um, <laughs> I must watch a video of them. So I've just now, like this past week, heard of this like music dot ly. What is it? Just musically? I don't know what that is. And I haven't watched a video yet, and I've been trying to remind myself to see what's going on with that, but I've I've never, I don't know what that phenomenon is, so I, I don't know um, if it's like something like, you know, something stupid like how planking took over everything, or, you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, I will definitely watch that. So, there we go, guys. We've got a couple of Secret of Mana, um, Secret of Mana characters here that we drew. We've got the Goblin and uh, the Chobin. There you go. Goblin. I think it's Goblin Kid in the game. There you go. And, you know, I had a lot of fun today. I will be sure to do a lot of these uh, sketches live, like when I just want to mess around and and uh, you know, kind of work on my skills and stuff like that. I will be sure to air them. Uh, probably not every time, <clears throat> but a lot of the times I will, just because I like hanging out with you guys. <laughs> All right, so I don't see any more updates on the live stream. So thanks everybody for tuning in. What uh, Itachi, little artist, toxic. All you guys, anybody that was watching that didn't uh, tune in there, I think Remy, right? That was another one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the viewers that will watch this later. And uh, I'll be sure to try to, what I'm going to try to do is get like a certain night every day that, or not every day, every week that I do live streams and, uh, and regular uploads as well. But um, thank you guys for tuning in and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see something covered, then let me know in the comment box below and I will try to do that. Until that, Next time, <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. I'm so tired. Uh, peace out, and we'll see you guys later.